Hello, welcome back to Greens Today. I'm Tej Dingra. And I'm Lane Herbert. Whether you've been in person or returned to campus this week, we're very excited to bring you our second episode of the year. During the school year, there's no doubt that we would all love to be back on campus and everything go back to normal so that we can see each other. Although the situation today isn't what any of us would hope for in an ideal world, we are dedicating this episode to the many hours that Greenville teachers put in to make this shift to online learning as seamless and effective as possible for us students. So we'll be talking to various teachers from all different subjects and all different grades within Greenhill, and we'll get to hear how they've prepared for hybrid learning, where for many teachers, this pandemic is the first time they have ever taught online. So let's go to the interviews. The faculty have really risen to the occasion and, and um, have, I mean, it's just been impressive and heartening to see, and I'm so grateful to our faculty, um, you know, because they're anxious. They're anxious too, and and not only are they anxious about the circumstances they find themselves in, you know, the, that we all find ourselves in, but also it's, you know, whenever you're asked to do new and novel things, it's um, it can be unsettling and hard. You can feel a little exposed, and you want to be, you want to feel competent, you want to feel competent, and when you're when you're asked to do these new things, like you you feel neither of those things. So there's a lot of learning going on that was not normal for our faculty. You know, the, the school year is tough and the, our faculty earn their summers. And, uh, um, you know, this was a summer where we asked faculty to kind of, yes, to take a break, but, but also to stay on and stay engaged. And they did that. And I'm, again, I think the overwhelming feeling I have about our faculty is just one of gratitude. Hi, I am Mary Idella and I teach primer through third grade art. And this is my 21st year at Green Hill. I'm Susan Eve. I've been at, this is starting my sixth year at Green Hill, and I've been a middle school teacher the whole time I've been here, and right now I'm teaching this year eighth grade and sixth grade, but I've also taught seventh grade in the past. Uh, Laura Flanagan, fourth grade literacy and social studies. I've been here 19 years. I'm also the head varsity girls soccer coach. Uh, Andy Mercurio, upper school English, and this is my 24th year at Green Hill. Um, so what is your experience with teaching in the virtual context? Um, Zippo, big nothing, right? Until last spring, I had never even taken a class online myself. So I really was, I'm going to say I was unprepared for what it was going to be like uh, for my students. I just dove right in in the spring um, when, we, when we were all sent home. And that was... Um, that was the first time I had done anything like that. Um, so uh, it, there was a lot to learn, but um, you know, we had so many Zoom meetings then that I think, I think picked it up pretty quickly. I don't think we knew just how big you know, this would be. Um, so again, there's a learning curve and the turnaround time was really, really tight, right? Because we came off of a spring that was um, uncharacteristic of any other spring that I've ever been a part of in 18 years. Can you give us an example of a activity that you're planning on doing um, in this new school year virtually? Usually I have third graders um, look at, learn about Aboriginal dot painting and, um, and then we, we do dot paintings with acrylic paint. I wanted them to continue it, but I didn't feel comfortable sending home acrylic paint <laughs> because it stains and it's definitely messy. So um, the kids are getting, everyone gets an art bag and then inside their art bag, they're gonna get a little, um, package of supplies um, that's wrapped up so they, that'll be a surprise. They have to unwrap it during our Zoom. And everyone's going to get a square of cardboard and instead of painting the dots, they're going to use um, modeling clay to stick them on. We sent home a marble for every eighth grader, for example, and we're going to have them creating marble tracks where they have to get time measurements to understand what's happening to the position of the marble over time. My last question is just could you share your general thoughts um, on your mindset and how it's, I guess, evolved for this new school year? We just have to practice with them. We have to learn by practicing. And I think some of that's going to happen again here in the fall. I learned is that it was helpful to have the kids um, have, their, have their art supplies ready when the Zoom started. And, and I let them um, draw while they were listening. Um, and it, it, I think it helped 
especially some of the younger ones, stay focused um, and, you know, helped with that challenge of how do you get a young child to sit still in front of a screen. I can't wait to try some of this stuff, but I'm also really nervous because it's still an experiment, a, a real life experiment. Uh, where I'm just going to have to say, okay, we're going to try it like this and then get feedback from my students to say, you know, did it work for you? What about it was good? What about it was bad? And then, you know, just keep coming back to the drawing board, I think, uh, lots and lots of times until we do find the recipe that's going to be the most beneficial for all of the students. Retaining the humanity of it. And for me, the way I, I put that into practice was having some breaks there in the middle that were just like that sort of soft downtime that also builds relationships and connections. Um, because when you're talking about these kinds of things, it's, it's not irrelevant. You're, what you're doing is you're learning about each other, you know, um, and you're getting to interact with each other. And I think in this setting, whether it's, it's fully online or hybrid, Building connections remains the central part of each and every class. Thank you so much for tuning in to Green Hill today. We hope you're all safe, happy, and healthy as we really get into this new school year. In the coming episodes, we're going to work hard to put a spotlight on all the underappreciated members of our amazing Green Hill community who are keeping us on course and working hard so that we can continue to be Green Hill together, even from a distance. But for now, that's all we have for you. We'll see you next time on Green Hill Today.